Hello, Catherine, I'm vlogging. <laughs> Hooray! Take two. Why? Because it's Project for Awesome. We're watching John on the live stream in bed. There's a cat. Can you say hi, Cameo? Hi. And I just wanted to tell people about some perks. Oh, okay. So you might not be watching the Project for Awesome live stream. You maybe have watched a little bit of it. Do you know that we continue to add weird and amazing perks during the Project for Awesome? Do you want to know about some of the perks, Catherine? I did know that, and yes, I would like to know. One perk. Hank, the fragrance, the smell. No, it's called Hank the Smell. <laughs> smell. Hank Ooh. the Smell. Hank the Smell is a perfume that I created myself. It's not really going to be. fragrance. The Hank Smell. It doesn't smell like me. It smells like me because I use Hank the Smell myself. Okay. Um, but it's not. It is a, it is a your, scent. Your it is personal. A, it is a non-gendered, oh. so it's not like male or female smell. Okay. Um, and, and it is definitely... Not just Adam Levine for women mixed with Adam Levine for men. Mm. Absolutely not what no. that is. Absolutely not. Absolutely don't not even, that. I mean, I why would why you think? Even, why would you think that? Why would someone think that? Yeah. Um, and how does this? How is this smell delivered? It's delivered in a small spritzy bottle. Oh, okay. Like this big. Is it just unbranded? Unbranded. Just I think we're gonna put a sticker on it that says "Hank the Smell." Okay. <laughs> Uh, Could be anything in there. Just go ahead and squirt it on yourself. <laughs> Good. It's a smell. Do it's a smell. It is a smell. Do not get it confused with another perk, which is Hank soda syrups. Oh, so, does that not come in a spritz? Does that also come? Does in not a come in a spritzy bottle. bottle. So, well, so that should be your first clue. Yes. Yeah. Though it's not a bad idea to have a squirter. He can sort of measure the amount of soda syrup that comes out, or just put it straight in there. Oh. Sometimes I do that when I'm making the soda syrup. I just oh. lick the spoon, and I'm like, that's real sweet. <laughs> Um, Drink a bunch of water, quick. Yeah, <laughs> I I make soda syrups. I lo I like sugary beverages, but when I buy sugary beverages at the store, I find that they are too sweet for me most of the time. Too sweet. They're they very put, sweet. They, they put real sugar in, and then they put like a bunch maybe of a, artificial maybe a, sweeteners, maybe a few different other sweeteners yeah. in too, because. Because it not, wasn't sweet enough. That's right. We want to have a round sweetness with the fake sweet and the so this just has real sweeteners I in it. Um, if you're curious about what sweeteners, so so basically the ingredients here you are. You know either, we're old because. Oh yeah. We like too sweet. We, too I, sweet. I mean, I drank black coffee this morning and I was like, "This is fine. This is good. Yeah. This is a yum, nice, yum. nice of uh, a fruitiness to what it. What a mellow beverage this is. <laughs> so I no more taste buds. With my salad. Uh, and black coffee breakfast salad. That's that was that's yum, you. Yum, yum. And. Uh, so I make soda syrups at home. I have a, we have a soda stream. Um, so I mix my soda syrups with the, with the, but you can also just mix it. You don't have to have a soda stream. You can mix it with, uh, carbonated water that you buy at the store. Um, and you can sure. even mix it with flavored carbonated water. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I have a pamplemousse croix and I put a little bit of my soda syrup in it and it's like, hmm, oh, interesting. Now that's a, now that's a soda and not just yeah. a seltzer. So I think I'll probably make this a fruit based one. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe cherry, maybe like cherry strawberry, something like that. Something pink. Um, but I also, I really like my ginger ale. I the, like, can you put a little, like, herb in it? Oh, yeah. Like basil or something? Yeah, like a mint. strawberry basil. Yeah. Strawberry basil would be good. Or like, uh, like a cherry mint. Cherry mint would also be good. I do like a basil beverage, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you just going to make one flavor? I'm just going to make one flavor. Okay. Um, and that will be delivered to you. And it's going to be enough to make, like, one or two, depending on how sweet you want it, cups. So it's not, like, like full pint glasses so it's not like a ton of soda syrup or anything but um but enough that you will get a taste of it and and you can tell me what you think it's a special treat it's a special treat save it for your special time that's right um uh, other perks that i have available Catherine, i i can perform a tweet so you can sit you will send me a tweet and i will dig deep into my well of life experience and i will i will be the best actor I can be and perform that tweet to the to the peak of my ability. Uh, it can be your tweet. You can write a tweet. Um, it has to be fewer than 280 characters. It can be someone else's tweet. I will perform a tweet for you. I will also draw you something. No bad words though, right? Um, I There is obviously stuff I will not do. Right. Bad words are okay. Well, bad thoughts are not okay. Okay. So I'm, hap I'm happy to say fuck. <laughs> to say... Um, I was thinking about like yes, bad, bad. I don't words. want no bad thoughts. I don't feel that way about yeah. yeah okay, um, and uh, yeah. So I will also draw you something. You don't get to decide what I will draw you, but it will be on nice paper. 
and it will be suitable for framing, by which I mean it will fit inside of a frame. What are you doing, kitty? Getting She's like, molested. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this, uh, if we're being honest. Um, the cat is not a perk. Uh, I also am doing a perk where I read a, sh a sci-fi short story. So one of my favorite short stories of 2019. You're going to pick. Yeah, I'm just going to pick. I, I, It'll be a surprise. I haven't picked yet because I haven't got the rights to any of them yet. Okay. So there are several that I'm pretty sure that, I, like, in general, once a sci-fi short story has been released in an anthology, they almost always have non-inclusive licenses. And, and, like, after the first publication, people are fine with you kind of doing whatever with them. Um, so I probably won't have any problems getting the rights, but I just want to make sure I have them before I tell you what story I'm going to pick. It's for charity. It's for charity. Yeah, they're going to say They're going to say yes. Let's be honest. Um... That's and uh, and that's it for the the things going on. There's also a, so many things. So there many are socks. Things. There's a calendar. You're gonna need a calendar anyway this year. There's pins. There's pins. There's a there's a project for awesome pin. There's also two different pins that you could get. You could get a Bud is legs pin or a Bud is not legs pin. And currently, Bud is legs is winning by a wide margin, well, and probably because the pin is the pin is cuter mm -hmm. also. Um, um, what's the other thing? Oh, there's posters. The uh, poster is so good. There's t-shirts. T-shirts really cute. Yeah. It's all good. There's so many great stuff. And we also have a lot of people who have given various perks. Tessa Violet, Thomas Sanders, um, Brett and Link. Cameo, Cameo did, just drooled on me a little bit if you want that in a small vial. <laughs> Cameo the drool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so go to projectforawesome.com slash donate. You can watch at projectforawesome.com slash live, and you can vote for charities. Uh, we are Please currently vote. in the second half of the Project for Awesome, so all the money that we're raising right now is going to be distributed to uh, charities that are voted on by the community. So you can go to projectforawesome.com, and you can choose where the money is going to go. This ends up being pretty big grants that we give around... Yeah. You know, ten thousand dollars plus to each one of these organizations, so and we'll decide who's going to get that. Yeah, money. it's a big. It can be a really can. Uh, and tell people about it. And tell people about it. You've got everybody's got an audience now. Yeah, it's true. Do it. Your audience. You go on Facebook and tell people about it. Tell people about Hank the smell and how they need it for their lifestyle.